Hello everyone, thanks for joining us yet again. Some more home viewing uh, footage here for you. Now, this time we're taking you to It's Time Pool Villas, which is located, which is a resort um, village located at Tap Thai here in Hua Hin. So we're showing you two villas. The first one, uh, the owner is asking for 10 million baht. The second one, the owner is asking 12 million baht. Um, this is a holiday or, or a vacation let resort. Now, there's because there's not as many tourists coming to Thailand and particularly uh, to uh, Hua Hin, this complex hasn't had a lot of customers lately so it's it's uh, come up that um, some of the owners are selling these uh, these units off for uh, for what they can get for them now so if you bought one of these if you would have to bear in mind that if the tourist market turned around in this part of Thai, Thailand and uh, tourists start to come back, they'd start to rent these again. So it'll be a, a bit of a party place. Um, may or may not be relevant, but at the moment they're very, very quiet. And units or villas 105 and unit 205 are both up, to, up for sale. So we're looking at Villa 105 first, selling for 10 million baht. Now, that price includes everything that you see here in the video, including all the furniture and all the accessories and so on. Now, this, both of these villas are classic vacation let places. They just have a look and feel of a hotel room. Now that may or may not bother you. It doesn't bother us, but uh, that's what we're looking at here. Uh, two villas that are, have been lent, let out for about between five and six thousand baht a night. So they're, you know, they're they're in reasonably good condition. I wouldn't say great condition, but certainly they're okay for you to move straight into. There's no major problems with them. The pool, um, edging on the pool might need a little bit of work on the tiles, but there's nothing major wrong with them. Um, you know, they're, they're in the state that you would expect for a villa that's been let out to uh, vacation makers, holiday makers for about a dozen years or so. So they're about a dozen years old, 10 to 12 years old. Probably uh, the the wallpaper is peeling off the wall. See, wallpaper is a big thing in Thailand. Just about every home in Thailand has got wallpaper on the walls, at least in some places. So it's a real thing here, uh, and it still is right now. Uh, I, I don't know why, but it just is a thing in Thailand. And if you know anything about wallpaper over time and particularly in a hot and really humid climate like we have in Thailand uh, the wallpaper can uh, start to lift and peel in places it's not bad it's not too it's it's not a big problem but uh, it's something that may not show up in the video you can see here just in that shot there it's got built-in air conditioning just similar to a hotel room that's no big deal I mean it works fine And of course, if you buy it, you can do whatever you want with the inside. You can strip it out totally and redo it, you know, if you want to spend the money. Um, we, we think both of these are a little bit overpriced, but, you know, what do we know? We're not experts, we're not real estate agents, but from what we have seen, they are a little bit overpriced. But um, you can make your own mind up if you decide to come and have a look at them. 
Tay ako, nos, really nos. It's very quiet, as long as there's no uh, uh, holiday makers here, but when we were there, it's extremely quiet. The pool's pretty good, it's working fine. Filter and pump's all okay. So it's a two-level home. Both of them are, are similar. They're both two-level homes. This cupboard, stroke wall, uh, wardrobe space. There's an outdoor shower there.
Okay, we're starting to have a look now at the second villa, number 205. The owner wanting 12 million baht for this one. It's it's just across the road from number 105, just across the, uh, the way there. It's pretty much, there are some significant differences, but it's a similar kind of feel to number 105. A little bit bigger.
this rectangular thing here is a ball pit for the kids. So when COVID came, the, uh, the owners had to take the balls out. So it's still sitting there without uh, the balls being put back, but that's what that is. Well, there you go, folks. That's another one, or another two, shall we say. So if you've got a lazy 10 or 12 million baht sitting away, sit in your pocket and you want to spend it, well, here's a couple of uh, nice ones for you. A little bit overpriced, as I said earlier on in the video, but that's just our opinion. You might see it completely different, and that's perfectly okay. But they're very nice. Um, but look, there's going to be more house hunting videos to come. We still haven't made a decision on what we're buying for ourselves yet. We're seeing plenty, and uh, we'll feature as many as we can for you in the days and weeks ahead. But once again, thanks for joining us. We appreciate all of you. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Thank you for leaving a comment. And we'll see you in the next video.